one. What's up, everybody? It's 12 o'clock. You know what time it is? It's time for the most exhilarating, most watched daytime cooking show out there with my good friend, who needs no introduction, the Sultan of Smoke, the Father of Fire, number nine on the field, but number one in our hearts, Jody Flanagan. Man, it sure is about time you got that right, Chef John. <laughs> you know it. I really do appreciate you. Hey, what's up? We're doing something new. We're live on YouTube. I don't know what to do. We're doing it, though. I promise you. So uh, ring that bell. Subscribe to the channel. Put a comment in the comment section. It's probably right there, maybe. It might be right there. I don't know. Usually it's down below. But put some comment sections in these areas. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll try to get to them. I don't know. I don't know if they can read them. This is new to us. This is YouTube. They're this just starting to tune in now, Jody. This is the throwaway. Yeah. We're, so, you know, you guys uh, ring that bell. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Does it tell you how many folks we got out there, John? Yeah, we got 40 folks out there Whoa. watching. Whoa. Whoa. We have never had, we've had zero folks on YouTube. We've never had 40. Yeah. So we really do appreciate you guys for tuning in today is a continuation of the Lunch Break franchise. We have ripped it from Facebook and we have betrothed it to YouTube. So congratulations, you guys now get to enjoy the win, what is, what is today? The Thursday episode of Thursday. Lunch Break. That's right. Man, it feels good to be in this YouTube though. It's nice and spacey. There's a lot of room for comments. I hear bells being rung. Be, 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 I like be, be, YouTube. Be, be, be. I like YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Um, but today we're going to be doing an oyster roast, a traditional uh, play on a traditional oyster roast. We got some delicious, fresh Blue Point. What St. John River? That's uh, uh, Blue Points and uh, John's River Island. John's River, River. Island oysters right. here. They're absolutely delicious. We had them yesterday. Co-founder uh, co Ray Carnes and his little tiny buddy Stevie. They shot a few <laughs> videos yesterday. So make sure you look out for those here on the tubes. Um, but ring that bell, guys. Uh, John, do you see any? Is there any comments or anything going down? They're, they're just starting to get rolling right now. Okay, so below has got that. I got yeah. you. Okay, all right. So we'll come back to that. But I do want to give you guys a rundown of what's going on today. We've got some beautiful fresh oysters. Now, when I say fresh, ladies and gentlemen, these things had mud on them. That's how you want. That's how you want to buy your oysters. Okay, you want them to have mud on them because that's way. That's the way you know where they came from. Okay, you want them to come from the mud. And look, look like we got a little kind of little invertebrate over there. But that's that's a good thing. That means these things are freshy fresh. The reason why they invented oyster knives is because you need them when eating oysters. If you're going to do an oyster roast and you're just gonna do it to where you, you dry out your oyster and that thing pops wide open, leave your hate in the comments section down below <laughs> because this is not the show for you. We are not gonna dry these oysters out. Uh, all we're gonna do is essentially warm them up a little bit. You know, we don't wanna boil them in the shell. We don't wanna steam them. We just wanna warm them up a little bit, okay? So, with the raw, just to show you guys, I got my awesome oyster knife. These can be found anywhere on Amazon or on the internet. But all you do is push until you get a little resistance, and you don't have to stab, okay? A lot of folks, when they stab, they end up stabbing themselves in the hand, and that is not good. These Bad knives, juju. These knives are not sharp, but yes, they can get all up in these rock guts. Uh, ring that bell for us, everybody. But what I like to do is I like to just get in there until I feel some, a lot of resistance, and then twist, twist. Okay, and that's okay if that happens. You just gotta get in there and twist. And twist. So, oh, here we go. There's a crab in there. We got a little crab in here, and that's a, that's a good sign. That's an omen. It's uh, good luck. You gotta eat the crab. Actually, good luck. Um, do you gotta eat it raw, Greg? Yeah, eat it raw. I don't know if that's a crab, though. Yeah, it's I don't, a crab. Yeah. We're gonna put it in some water and we're gonna figure out whether or not it's a real crab or if it's a bug. <laughs> uh, and then we'll come back to that because I'll leave it live on YouTube for the first time ever. I will. They, Jody, gotta, they gotta ring that bell. Jody, who's your cameraman today? T today we got uh, the one and only uh, world-class master chef, Greg Muller on the gimbal over there, rolling around, doing it all nimbly-bimbly style. Just making sure I don't screw it up. 
Uh, Jerry, we got people in the comment section. They're from California. They say that that wild side is looking sexy back there. It is. It is indeed. Uh, Matt Struggs is getting a 700 and a wild side. It's going to be delivered to his house on Friday. You son of a gun. Thank you guys so much for all the support, man. Uh, we wouldn't be here without you guys. So we're going to go ahead and do it raw because I like to shuck them and eat them raw. That's just like how I like to live my Rectech lifestyle. You've got to have some kind of hot sauce. You know, whether it be this delicious Louisiana Cristal hot sauce or the Louisiana brand or some Asian, you know, some uh, uh, Sriracha mm -hmm. um, or some Tabasco, cocktail, horseradish, whatever it is, you got to just have a little bit of spice in it. You know what has a little bit of spice in it? That well, Rec Tech Grills Gourmet Spicy Barbecue Sauce. So that's what I'm going to use for my raw oyster today. That's what I'm talking about, Jody. Smash. Uh, ring that bell, everybody. We really would appreciate it. So we're just going to put just a dab on there. I think Gino Alexander's watching from Evans, Georgia. Mm. Mm. How good was that, Jody? They're delicious. Delicious? Yeah, it hits the spot. This is the way I like to live my rec tech lifestyle, John. I love Becky, wow. better watch out. I think oysters are an aphrodisiac. <laughs> well, um, I heard that they were an aphrodisiac, Chef Greg, and I ate a dozen, but only four worked. Ho, hey ya. Hey. <laughs> Jody, you got a little after something on your chin. Oh, great. Thanks. Thanks, John. Yeah, no problem. No, that's my microphone. Oh, okay. Okay, everybody, right. in the comment section, that's my microphone. All right, let's get to cooking. Let's get to doing it. But this is lunch break. We've converted it to YouTube just to have a little bit more fun with you guys uh, and explore that YouTube possibility. But we've got the wild side going over here. Now, traditionally, like a, 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 a Georgia or South Carolina island oyster roast, you would have a flat top griddle okay you normally folks will have these specifically made and then they will build them on top of you know their fire pit or whatnot but we're we're doing it on the wild side and we've got that large flat top griddle in there uh, we've got a bed of coals down below with a nice piece of wood in there a little bit of post oak from bnb but we're going to lower it down there and it's getting good and hot for us. So traditionally, the way you would do an oyster roast is get that plate good and hot. And we'll only do a couple of them over here. And I said I wasn't going to, but forget it. So we'll get some of these oysters here. And you can hear it. That thing is super hot. Now, normally, you'll use a burlap sack. But today, we've got this awesome towel. And then we're just going to let them steam. Man, smelling good already, Jody. Absolutely. And we're just going to let these oysters steam. And again, we're not going to oversteam them. We're not going to boil them in the shell. Uh, we don't, you know, want to overcook them. Traditionally, folks that eat oysters would prefer them undercooked as opposed to overcooked. You don't want to dry them out, okay? And again, this taste, it brings me back to my childhood when, when my dad and I used to go and uh, eat raw oysters uh, off of the coast. Um, but it's very salty, very briny, a super fresh flavor, um, a good texture, especially when you add the uh, saltine cracker for sure. Now, another way that you can do it, we've got the BFG, the RT2500 rolling right now at 450 degrees. I actually placed a wet towel on the grate, okay? And then I've got my oysters sitting on top of there, so it's kind of uh, emitting some of that, that steam, so I can see Right now, these oysters, because that little guy right there, these are done for me, okay? I am gonna take these off of the grill right now um, because these are how I like them, okay? And again, you don't, it was probably about five to eight minutes in here uh, at 450 degrees. Now I see you got a lemon in there. What do you, what's, what do you do with the lemon? Absolutely, I like to heat that lemon up and it just gives me just another element of flavor when I open these bad boys up, sprinkle it on there. You know, that citrus goes really well with this seafood, this uh, shellfish. I can honestly say I've never had an oyster with a smoked lemon before. I'm kind of excited. Shoot yeah, Greg. Ooh, Shoot we're, yeah. We're breaking boundaries on YouTube. Guys, ring that bell. Put something in the comments section. My boy John, we got any good questions from the folks yes, that uh, in YouTube? Do. We have two good questions. First off, they want to know what you're drinking today. Oh, okay, all right. And the second question is, was that a wet towel that you put on the wild side? That is correct. That is a wet towel, soaking wet. Uh, that way it's, uh, it'll steam those oysters uh, on that flat top griddle. And I've also got a, a wet towel here uh, on the inside of that BFG as well. 
Uh, after this next round of oysters, I'm going to re-wet it and replace it. That is a big freaking grill you got. There, this Jeff. is a big freaking grill, Chef Greg. This is the RT2500 BFG. This is built for an army, a corporation, a church, a baseball team, a basketball team. Uh, this grill is made to get the job done. We're rolling at 450 degrees. We're burning uh, Kingsford Hickory pellets today. Uh, those are some amazing tasting pellets. That's going to give us good wood, wood flavor. Um, now again, it's only going to kind of get some of that smoke when it cracks open. Now you can crack these raw, okay, and put them back on the grill, you know, and do like a uh, oysters Rockefeller oh, yeah, if you wanted buddy. to. We got a great recipe at RecTechGrills.com if you guys want to check that out. But these oysters are going to be perfectly steamed. Now this is something really, really cool. Uh, that you guys and gals can do at home. You can invite your friends over. Uh, and it's very, uh, it's not very labor intensive. Once you get done cleaning these oysters, um, you know, you're good to go. It's the grills pretty much do the work for you. And you can see over here, uh, you can see some of that steam coming off. Um, those oysters are getting nice and warm right now. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that down just a little bit more to get a little closer to the fire, uh, a little bit more heat. Yeah, John, you got a good question? Yeah, I sure do. Oh, um, wait, wait, before you do that question, I need to answer that last question. Okay, yes, hey, I'm do. drinking the hashtag drink of summer today. I've got my awesome Dirty Girl Vodka Rita going. I got some Tito's Vodka, some delicious Dirty Girl Margarita slash sour mix, a little bit of pineapple juice and some grenadine rolling today. And that's my hashtag drink of Ooh, summer. That's what I'm and talking it's about. Absolutely buddy. amazing. Shout out. You guys visit dgmixers.com to find out where you can find all of those Dirty Girl mixers. They're absolutely delicious. Mm. All right, Jody, so the question's from Brandon. He said, could you, uh, soaking a towel in beer would be so much better. <laughs> no, you're not really gonna taste any of that beer, Brandon. The, 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 um, that water is not gonna impart any flavor or anything. Now see, this oyster is absolutely perfect. You can see we've still got uh, a good uh, shape to it. It's nice and warm. You didn't lose any of that liqueur? We didn't lose any of that flavoring on the inside. Now, we're not done just yet, okay? We're also going to be a little uh, a little crazy. We're going to put a little bit of that smoked lemon juice in there. Uh, Ooh, I'm also okay. going to put a little bit of this Louisiana hot sauce. That's the best kind, Jody. That's the only kind Absolutely. I use Absolutely. Shout house. out to our friends uh, at Crystal. Crystal. It's extra hot. Yeah, yeah. That's that fancy hot stuff. Oh, right? Right? This is on every table of every restaurant in Louisiana. And then, just want to hit it with a little bit of that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. Ooh, Available at rectechgrills.com as well. And this it's just got that horseradish and Worcestershire powder in right. there. Right, it's very similar to that Old Bay. Make sure you ring that bell, guys, and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Well, we got a delicious little oyster. He's about to go down the old hatch. Throw Jody, it back. got a quick question for you. Uh, Matt Struggs asked, do oysters open up in the heat like clams and mussels? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. So if you get, you know, a bushel of, of oysters like this and some of them are open, give them a little tap. You know, uh, if they're still alive and they're still good to eat, they'll close right on up. Uh, of course, if they don't close, I definitely recommend not eating those. Uh, that's just a, a good rule of thumb. Uh, any kind of seafood, you want to make sure that you cook it uh, when it's fresh. Just like lobster, you do not want to eat or cook. Uh, that's my fault. I cook a lobster, you know, that was dead, okay? Um, but man, these things are absolutely amazing. About five to eight minutes, 450 degrees. Again, you could go ahead and shuck these and do like an Oysters Rockefeller. Um, you can cook them on, oh, man, these things are full of them. Greg, come on over here. Look at that guy right there. You get another crab in there? Yep, looks like uh, this little crab's got some roe, some eggs in it too. But this one was cooked and is no longer with us. That is cool. But that is good luck, everybody. We're going to we're gonna enjoy that little guy a little later. But again, this one's cooked to perfection. It's not dried out. It still has its shape. Uh, it's still got a lot of that good juju, a lot of that good juice in there. Um, but, but that good and clean too. No dirt in there. No sand. Right, right. That's a, that's an important step is cleaning those oysters off. Because again, you want them to have some mud on them, guys. Oh, you're gonna warm it up now with that horseradish. Oh yeah. Clear out those sinuses. John, you got a good question over there. Yeah, Ken Lawson uh, says, Jody, he loves your apron. Where can he get an uh, awesome piece of grill gear like that? Oh, awesome, brother. Uh, you got you can check out my link on my Instagram page or my TikTok page. Uh, use that link because that's how Rectech Grills can get credit uh, for you buying that. Mm. Man, if that is not spring, summer, 
It in a shell. It looks I don't delicious, know what it is. Jody. Ring that bell, guys. How good are we doing out there, boys? We're Let doing me know. great. We were up Give to me some feedback over here. We're up here. to 100 viewers. Right. That's saying? awesome. And they are all up in the comment section, Jody. Didn't in a million years think we would get three digits on the first day, boys. That's good job, ladies about. and gentlemen. But John. again, we're cooking over here on the wild side, too. I don't want to forget about this bad boy. Check them out. We got some beautiful oysters. They're getting good and steamed. Now, again, uh, a lot of times you're going to use a burlap sack. If you can't find a burlap sack, that towel works great. But then if it dries out, just put a little bit of water on there. It's fine. Don't overthink it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Rectech lifestyle. We got way more important things to worry about than that towel drying out. But man, John, you got a good question yes. for the folks out there. Mr. Polar Bear asks, could you steam shrimp with this method as well? Uh, you could, um, but I'm not 100% uh, positive I would like to because I like to have seasoning on the outside of that shell. That way when I'm breaking those shrimp up, that seasoning goes onto my hands. It sticks on my hands. So when I hold uh, that shellless piece of shrimp, I get that seasoning all on the outside. So I believe the towels you know, would knock a lot of that off. Uh, and kind of uh, uh, prevent that seasoning from sticking on there. So I would just throw them on that Rectech cooking mat, uh, the mesh cooking mat available at rectechgirls.com. It's a great accessory. Uh, anything that you don't want to fall in the grates, you know, you could use that mat for vegetables, uh, nuts, uh, salts, you know, uh, anything to your heart's desires. Candied bacon. Candied bacon, dadgummit. Uh, also, uh, before I forget, guys, we picked a winner for our TikTok contest. Oh, if you yeah. don't follow us on TikTok, make sure you follow us there. But we picked a winner, and we will be announcing that a little later. Uh, not in this show, but a little later in the week. On Fun Day Friday, I think. Right, Madeline? What? When are we announcing that winner? TikTok? Yeah. It's oh, it's already announced. So go over to TikTok and see if you won, guys. Make sure you ring that bell. John, you got another good question. Yes. Uh, Matt Struggs wants to know, how did you clean the oysters today? You know, get all that sand out of them. Right, absolutely. Yes. So I took an icer cooler, and I dumped those oysters in my icer cooler. I took a uh, garden hose. I sprayed them off. Uh, when that, that water started running out of my cooler clear, I knew that those things were good enough uh, to cook. And it's okay to have a little bit of mud in there. That's fine, guys. That mud is going to give it flavor, too. Um, but you also want to keep them on ice. You can see here it's nice and warm today, and our ice is already melted. I need to get some more ice on these. If we were going to have a longer party, if I wanted to wait and cook these, um, but once uh, these others come off, I'm going to put another uh, hot towel in there. Well, we'll go ahead and do that now, and we'll cook some more of these oysters. But, man, I'm having fun out here on YouTube. This is pretty cool. Um, Never, never gone live on YouTube. We really appreciate everybody for tuning in, but just make sure right. you subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of awesome content coming up. Uh, John, you got another good question? Yes, Lester Palmer asked, Jody, can you do this on the bullseye? Uh, yes, you can. I would recommend uh, putting an aluminum half pan on that deflector shield to kind of protect these towels, you know, because you do get a lot more uh, flare-ups with that RTB380, uh, but most definitely. I'm not going to lie to you, I've also put these in pans and cooked them in the smoke box on the RT700 and uh, just rotated my pans upward. By the time I got to the top uh, of about five minutes, you know, I could rotate everything up one and put a new pan of oysters down below. You can also just leave these in aluminum half pans and put them in the grill as well, guys. Uh, these started to crack open. Oh, yep, Chef Greg, check it out right there. This little bad boy's already started to crack open on us. This one has two. So that's an indication uh, that these sons of guns are ready to go. Jody, how many oysters you you think you can fit oh on that BFG RT2500? Well, RT you can fit 550 chicken wings. Woo. So I'm saying at least 500 oysters could fit on the RT2500 BFG. That's talking about. Want to have an oyster party? This is the grill you need right here. Absolutely, guys. And if you want to have a, any kind of party, you know, if you're a partier, if you got a lot of folks coming over uh, to the house, this is the grill for you. Uh, or the wild side, it's also a great entertaining grill as well. Uh, again, this is really cool looking. Uh, a lot of people are going to come over and be like, wow, what are you doing? And they're going to ask you a bunch of questions as a conversation starter. That's what, uh, that's what having people over to your house is all about, starting conversations and uh, getting dialogue going. Uh, John, you got another good question? Okay, I've got two good questions. Okay. All right, Joey is out there, and he wants to know. And these are ready now, too. How you trim your beard. He said you have a <laughs> great beard. He wants to know how you trim your beard. <laughs> Thank you, and Joey. And Darkness God said he's uh, starting on planning. When he gets his rec tech, he wants to plan on starting off with ribs as his first cook. Cool. What's a good first cook when you have well, uh, your, uh, get your brand new rec tech? 
Right, very good question. We do get that question often. Um, we encourage you for your very first cook to do some chicken breasts. Now there's a couple of different reasons why, okay? Uh, just to give you a heads up, you're gonna do your 400 degree burn in, one hour at 400 degrees. Where am I at, boys? Okay, we're gonna do uh, a one hour burn in at 400 degrees, okay? After that 400 degrees, it's safe to eat off of, it's safe to cook on. You can cook those chicken thighs at 400 degrees, okay? Chicken thighs or burgers, both of those are gonna splash grease up on the inside of that cooking chamber, uh, moisturizing it and starting that seasoning process. Now, cook 20, is gonna taste 20 times better than cook number one, okay? Because it's gonna have more seasoning on the inside. You know, you're, 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 that grill is gonna be ready uh, to uh, take that food to the next level. So make sure you keep cooking on it and building that seasoning on the inside. But boy, we got a bunch of oysters to shuck here. Um, again, guys, what is your favorite thing to eat with oysters? Some folks like cornbread with oysters. Um, some folks, uh, you know, just like the saltines. Me, I like a good Ritz cracker. Uh, gives you a little bit butterier flavor. Um, but put in the comment section, you know, what you like to eat with your oysters. You know, some folks just like to shuck them raw and shove them down their throat. Uh, that's another mm -hmm. cool way to do it. Um, John, any good questions or comments out there? Man, there, there are a lot of people out here, a whole hundred people, 101 people out here watching, Jody. Uh, we do have a couple good questions. Uh, Courtney wants to know what Jody's TikTok account is, or is it just the Rec Tech TikTok account? Well, my TikTok account is BBQ underscore dad. BBQ underscore dad. And here again, we've got a great, perfect example of a steamed oyster, ladies and gentlemen, just nice and warm. It's heated up. It's still in all of those juices that it's been in. It's like the outside of the oyster just curled up the right. faintest bit. Right. There we go. Got a beautiful... <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. That looks a little provocative, don't it, boys? All right. We're going to no. put a little bit of that Tabasco Not on there. Us. And it's okay. Butter's good, too. Uh, guys, you can even put some of that Dirty Girl horseradish Bloody Mary mix on there. Mm. That'll make it, that'll give it a good kick as well, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to our friends at DG Mixers. Uh, check them out, dgmixers.com. And then that Bloody Mary seasoning and they then the bloody so mary good. rub jerry that looks so oh, man. good my These friend are gonna be good can we get a slow-mo of that Come right down right. <laughs> but uh any good questions john yes. keeping it rolling they're asking uh, uh if they have the wild side but they don't have the griddle pan how would you do the oysters without that griddle on there wow that tastes absolutely amazing well you can also do it with the uh, grill grate sear kit as well it has a flat side but you could do the same exact thing uh, or you can do it inside your pellet grill as well. Uh, or uh, what about, uh, do you have a cast iron skillet? Hmm? You can you go can right on the, the grates with that wild side. Right, you can throw it right on the grates if you want to. Um, but in order to steam them, you know, you do need kind of a surface up underneath. Uh, but yeah, there's many, many different ways that you can do this. I would like, you know, to do some Oysters Rockefeller or uh, mm. the Drago Oysters mm, that Ray and good. Stevie did. Guys, so look out for that video. Good. It is coming and it is going to be a great video. Um, but man, if all hundred of you could just ring that bell for us and subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of great content coming out for you. Um, any other good questions? I think we're about done showing yeah, these folks well, how these they, things are if going. If they like this recipe and they want to get more of the recipes, Jody, what do they need to do? Well, I encourage you to go to rectechgrills.com forward slash lunch break and sign, oh yeah, and sign up for these amazing recipes because we've got them coming out every day and we can shove one into your inbox if all you got to do is sign up and give us your email, okay? So go to rectechgrills forward slash lunch break and fill out the form and give us some of your info and we will be sending these bad boys to you. Uh, on a pretty regular basis. Now, now I don't know about daily, um, but a super regular basis. You're getting, you're getting a hot number. Any good questions? Uh, again, yeah, John, we have, roll I out. have one that I didn't even know this. Lincoln Echo says he thought that oyster shells would wreck the bull because of the calcium gas wrecks natural gas grills. He's Absolutely. Very good question. Very good point. Uh, but no, we use that uh, that stainless steel. Um, it's going to last going to last you a lifetime. It's not going to warp, rust, corrode or fade on you. Nine times out of ten, if you do see any kind of rust build up, it's going to be uh, surface rust and it can be easily cleaned off. You know, sometimes when I uh, spill some salt, uh, physical salt on my side shelf, you know, it'll produce a little bit 
of uh, oxidation. I just clean it off with a little bit of that grill grate cleaner or that Cameo by Brillo or that Diamond Magic. Those are the those are good three cleaners uh, if you guys were ever wondering about that. But what we're going to do is we're just going to keep shucking these oysters. I'm going to make a pretty plate. We're going to take some pictures. I'm going to finish my drink of summer. And we're going to get on with our day. I encourage you to, to check out our next live video coming up. It's at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard on Facebook. We're going to be doing Product Spotlight. Again, featuring the wild side, we're going to be doing some Denver steaks. And I'm going to be breaking this bad boy down, top to bottom, front to back, left to right. Uh, again, because we've had a lot of folks request more wild side footage. So that's what we're doing for you guys. Um, John? Yes, sir. Any other good questions or comments before Man, we roll out? I think you've answered them all. They were yeah. asking about how Ray and Stevie are doing. Uh, a couple people said that's how they found Rec Tech Grills was through Ray and Stevie. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Well, we appreciate you guys for finding us. Um, again, more Ray and Stevie videos coming. Don't worry. Um, they were filming yesterday, uh, all day, in fact. So they've got a few videos coming out for you. So those are coming up. That's another good reason to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's because we've got a lot of great content coming up. Again, uh, don't forget, you can win yourself an RT700 just by going to uh, the last week's Fun Day Friday episode on Facebook. Go check it out. It was a great hot dog eating contest. But we spun the wheel of Rec Tech as we do every Friday, and we are giving away an RT700. And the only way for you to register yourself to win that is to check out that video and do and do exactly what we did. And then, hell, boys, we had a great time last night That's on After Hours, didn't we? That's what I was about to say. Uh, Co-founder Ray Carnes came in the comment section, and he wanted us to give away 20 shirts. So make sure you go and watch that episode and find out how you can win yourself a well, awesome Rec Tech well, shirt. Well, tell them the most exciting part. Mr. Ben came downstairs. He did, he did, and he whipped out a $100 bill. Is it still in the apron? Now it's going to smell like oysters. Well, that's fine. <laughs> now it's going to smell like oysters. What did it smell like yesterday? Uh, queso. It smelled like 100 Queso bucks. and briskets. So one of those 20 shirts is going to have this $100 bill in it. We're also going to sign it and give it to you. That's illegal. We're not Is supposed it? to write on the money. Oh, we're Did breaking the law. That? Breaking, breaking the, law. the law. We're rebels. <laughs> That's another reason to subscribe to us on YouTube. We might get arrested on here. You never know. <laughs> uh, but guys, ring that bell. Make sure you follow us on all social media. Uh, and thank you so much. Um, you see it right there on the right side, Jody. Oh, eight, nine, oh. I do, John. Thank you so much. Man, ring that bell, guys. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we'll see you on the, the YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Do, do, do. All right. Do, do, do. Yes, man. Mola. Do, do, What's do. up, Ed Red S? What's up, Ed? Uh, Tyler Mitchell, when the sun Randy Threadgill, Darkness God, John like Starshevich, Mr. Polar Bear. I see some of these people. They probably do, only do, started do, a YouTube account just to watch.